Hey guys, it is the real Shamari, aka Big Mari, the one, the only Shamari Gabriel. So today is January 1st, 2023. I am very, very excited about this year. I have so many things that I plan to get done this year. And you know, you really can wake up any day and be like, girl, I want to change and do better. But I just feel like the first of any year is just very refreshing. And it's just like, it just feels like a new start. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just what I take it as in my head. I don't have much planned for today, but um, I'm going to give you guys a story time on how I found out I was pregnant, a life update. That's really the life update, like a part of the life update. Um, and then just like my pregnancy journey so far, because y'all morning sickness, uh, they whooped me, like whooped my behind. So two out of 10 would not recommend. Oh, y'all. And for breakfast, I'm eating um tomatoes. Y'all see the salt? I try not to put too much salt on there, but I love um, tomatoes with salt. And then I got my yogurt and then my water, and I'm just going to eat this real quick. And then um, then do everything else I said I had to do. Okay, guys, so my top half is ready for today, but I also wanted to show you guys the stuff I have to take every day. So they have me taking, like, a low dose of baby aspirin just so I don't um, get high blood pressure and... What else did she tell me? It helps me from getting preeclampsia. And then these are my prenatals that I have to take. It's two a day and they taste so good. I really want to eat more than two. But so these two are the main things I have to do. And sorry if I look a little oily. I just um, put on my vitamin C oil for my face to get rid of the dark spots. Because y'all, I've been breaking, look, I've been breaking out real bad. And then I don't help it because I have to dig in my face. So I have to put on clothes now. And I'm actually going to have to leave the house because my plans kind of changed a little bit. But I still will get y'all to the um, store time. sleep and forgot about my video so let's start with my story time oh yes i am in the bathroom too i was not going downstairs to get good like so y'all gotta deal with this bathroom like i'm sitting on the toilet but i do have my pants y'all and look at my stomach like okay let me sit down <coughs> Ooh, my story is nothing like hoorah hoorah i guess um it's probably the same story millions of other women have because honestly the way i found out my period was like three or four days late and I kid you not, the reason I didn't get worried sooner is because I thought it was coming. Like the day it was supposed to come, I was like bleeding light. So I was like, oh, here it comes. You know what I mean? Put on my pad, my extra large pad, put it on, nothing. Or oh, maybe it's just like warning me like it's, it's finna come on tomorrow. I thought that's what it was saying. So tomorrow come, I kid you not, and it's still just spotting. And I'm like, bro. I might be stressed out, you know, that's what I was thinking. Like, I was just worried about a lot of stuff at the time. And I wasn't really even thinking about a baby because I was just lit at a game night. Well, kind of think about it. I did sleep that whole game night, but I was at a game night the night a few nights before. So I definitely wasn't even worried about a baby. I probably took like one or two shots too. So yep, that y'all long story short, it just never came. And I was coaching cheer with little girls and I got to the practice. And, and I kid you not, I was like, Juju, do you smell that cabbage? That's the girl I was coaching with at the time. And she was like, cabbage? I don't smell no cabbage out here. You need to go take a pregnancy test. Like, she said it jokingly because we always just joked about stuff like that. And I kid you not, I was like, dang, my period is like four days late at this point. So I went and got me a pregnancy test a few days, probably like a day or two later. And I took it, y'all, and it said positive. And I just started reading the box because I'm like, maybe it's inspired, you know. Um, maybe it just don't know what it's talking about. So I went and got like four more. <laughs> I went and got like four more. And they all said positive. So I was like, okay, dang, this might be real life. So yeah, true enough, my um, primary care was like, yeah, it's real life. Just sneaking around because I didn't want to tell my parents yet. I'm like, where can I go to like go to a baby doctor? I don't even know who to call. And I'm like, so everybody I call, I'm like, hey, my name isn't like 
um, policy holder for the insurance. Is this going to alert the policy holder? I'm trying to book appointments and hoping my daddy don't get notifications or whatever from the insurance. But I was good. Um, happy as well, too. Probably a little shocked, but still happy. So that's basically how I basically found out. And then on to my morning sickness part, y'all. Zero out of ten when I recommend. I couldn't eat for some days. Like I started off like, oh, I ain't gonna get sick. I'm straight. I'm strong. I'm finna slay my pregnancy. That's what I was thinking. By by the time I hit like week nine, it, it just all hell broke loose. I started throwing up. I couldn't hold nothing down. Everything tastes nasty. I was so hungry, but I never knew what I wanted to eat. Like. I had this metallic taste in my mouth all the time. The doctor at my job, she was like, oh, I had a baby, I had that same thing, you just need to chew gum. So y'all, I'm walking around with cases of gum this big in my purse, like, I have to keep chewing gum because that taste in my mouth made me want to just throw up. I thought I was out to clear, I'm in my second trimester. I'm like, yeah, here we go, it's better, it's gonna get better. Now my ears ringing, I'm throwing up to my nose bleeding. I'm gonna put a picture in here because I don't care about none of that. I'm throwing up to my nose bleeding. I'm at my half appointment, like, about to pass out, eyes blurry. I just, I was like, bro, what the heck is wrong with me? I know for a fact, two and a half days, I ate nothing. Like, zero out of ten, you know, I'm not doing it again. And I kind of think I want to go natural, too, when I have my baby. But I'll let the pain decide what I do. It's just, I don't want to deal with the after effects of an epidural. And I know once you do it natural, it's like you can just get up and go on about your life. Your legs gonna work and stuff like that. That's basically my shortened story. As for watching my video, um, stay tuned because I'm gonna have some better content too. I'm like probably gonna take y'all on a few doctor's appointment visits, um, shopping for my baby, setting up her room, all of the above. And I'm really excited. Baby Marley, um, me two weeks i think now i gotta look at my calendar y'all i have a little app that helped me keep up with it so i'm pushing 22 weeks i think tomorrow i'll be 22 and so i'm like five months and some change about to be yeah no five months let's just what the hell we don't i don't know what i am just know i feel like i feel like phaedra when she was lying about her pregnancy okay you coming about here one thing i can do and that's add and what phaedra is saying it's not adding up. So you're really like more like six months? It I don't know what about I six months? I know he, they're going to do it at 34 weeks. So 34 weeks is when he's going to come. Oh, okay. Hmm. Shut up. That is so stupid. Look, chicks from the hood, honey, don't even know who they pregnant by. And they know how far they are. It was either not his baby. It's making her arrival in May. So I have a few more months and I'm ready. I'm ready to see how this is gonna go. But stay tuned for more content and thank you guys for watching.